Today we're going to check out how to make this popular photocopy effect in Photoshop. I'm going to go with this model, I'm going to crop it, press the letter C this way you can crop it, and I'm going to make it a landscape mode. Now very important note, this grainy effect is going to look different for everybody. Now how it's going to come out, it really depends on the resolution and the size of your image. So for example, in my case, the width is 6500 and the height is 4600. It's a really, really large image. So because it's a large image, it's going to create like really tiny grains on the image when applied the effect. And if you got a small size image, the grains are going to look bigger. So anyways, the first thing I got to do is go to the adjustments and adjust the contrast. I'm gonna go with the curves and I'm gonna increase the contrast and I also gonna go to the adjustments and check it out how it's gonna look in black and white and increase the contrast a little bit more because when we apply the grain effect it's going to take away the contrast. So from here I'm gonna select all the layers, press and hold shift, select all, right click, go to convert to smart object and from here let's go to the filter, filter gallery and let's go to the texture and let's select the grain. In my case I gotta go with the intensity on 33 and the contrast on 46 and I gotta go down and click on the little plus here. It's gonna add another effect and let's go to the sketch and click on stamp. And the main point is to bring down the smoothness. The more you bring down the smoothness, the smaller the grains are going to look. The bigger you're going to make the smoothness, the more smoothness you're going to add. These grainy dots are going to look bigger. You can experiment between the stamp and the grain and increase or decrease the contrast to see what results you're going to get. But the main point that the grain, if you decrease the intensity, is going to make it more lighter. If you increase the intensity, it's going to make it really dark. From here, click OK. And from here, I'm going to go to the filter noise, add noise. I'm going to check the checkbox on the monochrome and increase the amount of grain. So it's going to make it look more gray. I'm going to go somewhere on 50, click OK. Now I'm going to go to the adjustment layer, scroll down and here we got the gradient map. Click on it. It made it more dark again. Click on it and I'm going to make it more light. There you go. So you can see the grain. Click OK and I'm going to switch up this color maybe to some orange. Click OK, OK. And now at least I'm going to bring another texture with grain on it. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download it. I'm going to scale it, distort it a little bit. And we're going to change the blend mode. You can go with lighten or I'm going to go with color dodge. And this is how you can achieve this really cool photocopy effect in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.